What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step walkthrough. Do you want to create super cool buttons on your SharePoint site pages? Yeah? Well, stick around because you're going to see that and so much more. We're going to revolutionize the way that you have people clicking on your SharePoint sites. Stick around! I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. As we get started, thank you for your support. If this is helpful to you in any way, please like, share, subscribe. Let's get that timer rolling. All right, first thing you're going to do is like we do about this time, we're going to edit mode because you got to be in edit mode to make changes to your site page. We're going to go into this section that we got pre built here. We're going to go ahead and add a web part. We're going to add quick links. And from there, we're going to go ahead and, and select the type of way we want this to show up compact no go, film strip no go, grid. Yeah, we could rock with that. And then we're going to click on add links. We're going to say we're going to go from site or we're going to say recent and we're just going to go to the home page. We're going to say insert. And then bam we got an image from the home site but we can go custom image we can change that and we could just say recent and we could say boom and we could say insert and then we hit republish and then there you go you got like a super custom button and there's so much more you can do with this and so many other ways that you can arrange it wild and we're gonna talk about it so let's just slow down a little bit here and let's take it step by step and talk about you know all the stuff that went into this so basically you've got your quick links web part all it is is just a fancy way for you to get from point a to point b you're going to smack this on a site page you go into edit mode here in this scenario i added a new section at the top of my page that i was editing and changed the background just so there's some contrast and then i whipped up and just smacked in the quick links web part so if we get rid of that here, we can delete just to start from scratch. And if you want, we can, you know, we can delete this whole section and we'll republish just to give you a feel for like, so here we are, like this is what it looked like before. And I want to add just some, a simple row or grid of buttons, you know, with some images and maybe even some text. Well, all I got to do is hop into edit mode and I like to pop in a new section. Uh, I just feel like it keeps the page a little bit cleaner and compartmentalized to a certain extent. So you build a new section, we're going to go one column, we're going to have this thing just, just rock and roll in here. So we hover, we find a little plus. I'm sure there's other ways you can add, like I know there's like drag and drop now, so I guess I should do it the new way. So we should be able to drag this and drop it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm old school. I'm old school. Okay. Now, here's the quick links web part. So as you can see, you can add links, you can add images behind them, you can put text, you can configure this in a lot of different ways, but we're focusing on uh, buttons, if you will. We can name this, and I like to name it something cool. You can leave it blank if you want, and you can click here to add links, you can click here to add a link, and it's going to ask you, you know, you want to go to some recent stuff that you visited. You can add a stock image. And this would just be a link to the image, I do believe. I feel like I've gone through this before. Let me just see what happens here. Yeah, it's trying to link you to it. It's, it's a goofy thing to do. Don't do that. So we're going to get rid of this just to start back over. So here we go. Add a link. Uh, stock images. Uh, something in OneDrive. Uh, something inside this site so a document library or a file in this site you can upload or you can go from a link and in this case I just went with recent and just went back to the home page just for giggles so but you can see when you first you know fire this off it gives you this look and feel and that's not such a I mean let's follow this down the path but I'll show you how we got to the uh, the large button that we saw at the beginning so I could go in here and I could say okay let's go custom image right and let's pick something let's go to recent let's just grab this awful photo there and there you can see I mean it's it's in there I mean how how well you can see that uh, once you republish it is up for debate um, you know if that's as big as you need it then maybe you're done but maybe you might want it to be a bit more um, 
recognizable. So then uh, what we can do is we're going to edit the web part properties. Okay. And right now it's in compact, which is the default. Film strip makes you cycle through once this fills up a little bit. We don't want that. We want people to see everything that's available. So then we go to grid. So here you can see now you've got, you know, the bigger image. You can have text underneath here. Um, and then the other option that I think fits well if you're trying to do buttons, even though I know this one says buttons, but look at that. That's super tiny. So if you go to tiles, it gives you this here by default, but you can change this to large, extra large, fill the space. Um, so there you go. You can imagine what this would look like if you filled it out. Okay, presto changeo, now we got stuffs. So let's go into edit mode and take a look at all of these different options and settings. And if you discover something new, please like, subscribe. And if you want to see something else or see something gone into more detail, let us know in the comments. Also, let us know what works for you, what you like most about this web part. All right, here we go. So we are in the grid and we can see that up here. We've got a little drop down. We can switch between all the different uh, display types uh, and we can go into the individual item to adjust play with how it works. So, for example, if you want this particular uh, button to open a new tab you can do that you can change it and you can also give it a title for thumbnail you can go auto selected custom image or choose from a library so that's the auto selected that's custom and if i go library yes yeah, so when you go library then it brings up all of your icons and you can search for them and have fun with icons so those are your main options there and we're just going to go back to custom image and we have a title. There you go. So moving right along to the next display type, we've got compact. And now that we go compact, we go to properties and we can see the different options. Uh, in this case, we can say uh, show image, which is yes, or we could say do not show the image. Next, we can bounce into film strip. And film strip here, we've got, you can just cycle through like an image gallery, so to speak, or click the radio buttons. And grid, you've got your grid. There's not a lot you can change about this one. Here we've got the buttons, and here you can choose to show descriptions or not. And in this case, uh, we have to give the thing a description here so it can, you know, can't type show the description there you go so there's the description if we go back click on the main web part and go to the edit properties now we can see the difference all right and you can choose where you want the icon no icon icon on the left icon on the top you can just go crazy alignments you can just have all sorts of fun title text one line two line just have fun okay so there are your buttons and then we've got the list so that's even more tiny and you can show descriptions or not you can show icons or not and then wrap it all up with a nice little bow we've got the tiles you can have fun here we can go small medium large extra large fill the space Notice if we go small, medium, and large, we can go with show only icon or image, yes or no. But once we get to extra large and fill, it grays this out. Once you get it looking the way you want it to look, you republish it, and you can start clickety-clacking all over the place because you got your custom buttons and you use the Quick Links web part to make it all happen. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you found something valuable, please give us a like subscribe share it really helps out the channel remember sharepoint rocks and so do you we'll see you next time y'all i'm a sharepoint expert play with data extra careful with my hands because i gotta use them forward yeah i'm a big old nerd i like maple syrup all my pancakes i don't care what you heard